Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to graph limassons. So a limasson is described in polar coordinates by the analytic equation, r being the radius, is equal to a plus minus b times sine of theta, where a and b are constants, or alternatively, a plus minus b cosine of theta. And there's essentially three types of limassons. The first type considers the case where the magnitude of the ratio a over b is less than 1. And this is going to be a limasson with an inner loop, which is this case right here. So if I consider that my case a, I notice that there is an inner loop inside of this limasson, and there are two crossings at the origin. The second type of limasson is the case where the magnitude of the ratio, a over b, is greater than 1 but less than 2. And this type of limasson has a dimple in it. So this second case, case b, is depicted here as an example where it almost looks like a circle but it has a dimple in it. Finally, if the ratio of a over b is greater than 2, then we call that figure a convex limasson, which is this third case, case c. And it looks like a stretched circle here where the radius isn't necessarily constant throughout all angles. Finally, we can consider the case of a limasson where the frequency term in the trigonometric function is not equal to 1. So if I have r is equal to b sine of n times theta, for example, n can be either even or odd. It's an integer. And if it is odd, then my figure will have n petals. And if it's even, it will have 2 times n petals. So, as an example, we can consider r is equal to sine of 3 theta where we notice that n is equal to 3, so it's odd, so there's going to be 3 petals. And in this case, our limasson is going to look something like this. So we notice that there are various crossings at the origin, and that this value cannot exceed 1, which is the value of b, and that we have 3 equal sized petals symmetrically placed about the origin. My name is Walter Unglob and this is how to graph limassons.